doing? Doing all right? There isn't much energy in this room, I'll tell you that. Now. Maybe I ought to start, maybe I ought to walk out and do it again. Let's go get our Yeah, I mean, what the heck's going on? I mean, is it that bad? No. I mean, this is a 10-win team you guys just covered today, man. I mean, that, 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 that's something else. And, and uh, you know, the way they went about their business and just went out and uh, played the game the way it should be, um, you know, it was good to see. Really disappointed in our finish at the end. We got sloppy, and uh, that's disappointing. But uh, you know what? We, we put the seniors out. You know, there's a possibility there might be one more game in this uh, facility for them, you know, and, and yet, uh, you know, that's a great way for those guys to go out, and uh, it was good to see. So, um, you know, we've got our work cut out for us. We're on a short week, as I told them. You know, today's actually a Sunday. We've got to get to work tomorrow because of the Friday game next week. Um, preparation's going to be a key against a team that, uh, you know, a couple of years ago I've never been involved in a more embarrassing ball game in my entire life as uh, I was down at Air Force. Troy took it easy on us, and, uh, you know, it could have been uh, 9,000 to nothing. And, uh, I thought that was one of those games that, as a program, we kind of learned um, what it is to compete. And it doesn't matter what the score is, but to compete. So, you know, we're looking forward to another rivalry game. This is our third one. Uh, and that's what's great about being a Ram, man. You get to play these trophy games. And, and, uh, and, and we're looking forward to it against a really good football team. And would you like to retract your earlier statement that you could outrush <laughs> I told him this first time I've seen him, he hadn't been caught. I mean, what, did all the guys fall down? Did all 11 of theirs must have fell down? That's the only thing I know. But uh, to see his smile, uh, and when he told me he finally finished, I said, yeah, it's about time. And he did it twice. Yeah, he did. The one down the sideline, uh, you know, was a little uh, jitter, jitterbug move that uh, was pretty good. Uh, I taught him that dance move too, and uh, but uh, no, it's uh, I was happy for him. He he came to play, and obviously with Treas, uh, you know, screwed, messed up his ankle just a little bit. So, you know, we were down one. So I thought D really kind of stepped up and and went at it. Jim, just how nice that was such a dominating performance when there were so many distractions that could have gotten in the way. Obviously, they didn't work. It's clutter, man. You just gotta get rid of the clutter. Focus on what is the task at hand. And in this case, our next task at hand is against an option team that, that's playing to the top of their level. Uh, guys are playing hard. They're healthy. Um, you know, I like I said, guys, this is uh, we're heading into rivalry week, and uh, and and that's what college football is all about. So um, I'm excited about getting back to work. Actually, as soon as we get done here and. Get going on these guys. Talk a little bit about Preston Hodges and the game that he had today. Yeah, Early Preston. Run, yeah. Big plays on special teams too. No, Preston is, uh, is, as you guys know, he was kind of one of, you know, we felt, you know, one of our guys that we were really lucky as in all the recruits, but a guy that we felt could come in and play. He has. He's done an outstanding job. Um, you know, when Joe went down uh, on the uh, hit, um, uh, you know, he came in and immediately filled in. And, you know, the guy was a high school quarterback, played running back in junior college, and, and he's, a, he's a great athlete. So, uh, you know, he's getting a little bit better all the time. He's learning the discipline. But I also say that credit also goes to KPL and, and Trent Matthews in the communication part uh, with him at being at nickel. A repeat question, is there any sense of helplessness at not having your no, you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it, 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 as I said, you know, as we go through life, you know, sometimes, you know, we get tripped up and we never get it back. And, uh, you know, that's not something we can look back and do. All we can do is look forward to, you know, going and getting that trophy and, and keeping it. And, uh, again, playing against, a, you know, a really good Air Force team, well-coached team that, that is going to play their tails off to get that trophy back. Coach, can you describe what D. Hart was doing to be so effective today? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. He did his job, you know. And the one thing is, is he's, you know, he's, he, I thought he did a much better job of one-cut runs. 
Sometimes he tries to maybe hit a home run all the time instead of just stick your foot in the ground and, and see it and go. I thought he did a really good job of that today. And, uh, but, you know, he's a talented guy and uh, a guy that, you know, has, has become a true Ram now. I mean, this, this family's adopted him and, and uh, he's doing a great job for us. He was much here at Grayson's last game at home. Yeah, he did. He he uh, he threw it okay. He missed the wheel route. That that one that you know he tried to force into Joe. You know I'd be pissed if I was Joe, because uh, you know he stared it down and we had the wheel route on the outside and he missed maybe one other one. But um, he was pretty efficient. Uh, took care of the football. Thought he had a really good understanding in uh, you know what he was seeing. Um, they tipped their hat a little bit, and he did a good job of knowing where to go with it. And, and uh, yeah, he played played the way a quarterback should play. Played winning football. Is he the point now where you can compare him favorably with Matt Murray? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, you know, he's so obviously. I, th I think his numbers are. You know, pretty good. I mean, I, what I've liked is he's really become efficient. I, I think Coach Baldwin's done an outstanding job of, of really, really honing down. You know, where it is, what your progressions are, and and look, don't be afraid to take a check down. And sometimes those those turn into big plays for you. And and uh, yeah, he's he's playing good. Uh, I'll get on his tail as soon as we start watching tomorrow about a couple misses, but. Uh, at the same time, he pretty much threw it to our colored jerseys, and you know what? If you do that, you got a chance. Joe, how is Joe? Joe, I don't know. We'll we'll find out. You know, once we get him uh, examined, it isn't. Uh, you know, who knows? And yet, at the same time, if he can't go, well, somebody else will play. When you look at the way your defense played today, this was a team that averaged, you know, came in 318 yards a game. They had 109 and a half. I know they get close to 300 rushing. But it, it seemed like you took your consistency. You know, we did. I, I, I tell you what, I just, you know, we gave him some garbage yards, you know, and and if you guys got figured out by now, you know, I, I don't that that isn't just because somebody else is in. You got to go tackle them. You got a responsibility too, and uh, you know. But I really thought our defense all week was really honed in on kind of what happened to them a year ago. You know, mm -hmm. and I thought they learned from a lot of that. And for the most part, you know, stayed gap sound, uh, did a pretty good job of, of containing the pitch. Uh, I don't know if they messed up a formation on one of them, but they, uh, we got a little miss key and their quarterback got loose for a little bit. But uh, at the same time, um, you know, give credit to our defensive guys for, and, and our special teams, man. I mean, you start the game with a fumble on, you know, kickoff return and, and boom, you're down there and then you get another one and, and uh, you know, Deontay, I mean, I know it got called back, but, you know, that's kind of what we expect out of him when we uh, recruited him is to go hit his head on the goalpost and he had an opportunity to do that today and, and uh, you know, I thought our special teams played pretty good. Garrett um, played good and obviously, you know, kicker uh, slapped one off the Unbelievable. I mean, it's it's right here. It's just this little square. You just kick it and it goes in. But, uh, you know, he hit it solid now. It, 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 he, no, I thought it's a good thing they put cement in that thing because he could have knocked that thing over. I don't know if you envision being asked this question in 2014 when you came here, but would be, were you tempted at all to be more merciless and maybe get points and faults? Uh, no. I mean, I, I, look, we came here to win ball games, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what. You, all you do is go out and win. I, I'm not one of these. I mean, you guys see me dressed, right? It's not like I'm a style guy. You know what I mean? So winning is winning, and you figure out a way to win the ball game. Um, we've won 10 of them, um, and then we'll try to go get 11 next week. But uh, – no, there wasn't any thought on that. I, that's just not, you know, if I did that, if I went back to Montana and tried to do something like that, I'd have my tail kicked in the back alley. So that's just not what's going to happen.
when you, you mentioned it earlier, you do have a short week this week. You have the same tricky kind of offense you got to prepare for. Do you feel a little bit better about a short week knowing how your team played against New Mexico? And won? Never playing these guys because of what occurred a couple years ago. And, and uh, I mean, you guys wonder what I think about a Flathead Lake Montana in the summers. That one always comes in there. And, uh, you know, I just want our guys to play hard and compete and, uh, you know, show up and, and, you know, give the respect to the rivalry the way it is. You going to watch that game on TV tonight? Is it, now, you know what? I, it, it's hoop season, man. There might be a basketball game I don't want to watch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. How much does that defense feel about the way you played and you limited that offense? Well, I feel like as a defense, they don't ever just put anything on me. You know, we, we all do things together. So I couldn't show up in a run game, so I made sure when they passed the ball, I was there. How tricky is that as a defensive back, knowing that you want to watch for the option that was coming that way, but you know that they're going to try and go over it's very tricky. You, you get your eyes stuck in the backfield a lot. That's why in practice all week, all we ever talk about is great eyes on your receiver, play your man, do your job. What's it feel like to be 10-1? Feels great. Feels great. Uh, when, we, when we came into the season, this wasn't a plan. The plan was to give it all we got, you know, go out with a bang. We shouldn't, we shouldn't lose to anybody. That was our mentality, and that's what's happening. How nice was it? It, it was very nice. I, when I came out, you know, they, they were coming in for the runs, and I kept wanting to show up, but I couldn't get there because I had to stay on my man. So every time I get a pick, I get up like, man, I got you. Yeah. The way you guys played today, and considering you have a short week going in the Air Force, do you feel a little bit more confident knowing that you got an option attack and you held? Yeah, I feel like we, we, we're always confident. Not cocky, but confident. We know that we got guys that can make plays and that will come up. None of us are scary, and all of us are greedy when it, when it comes to defense. Well, we, we even compete for tackles when we're on the field. Like, I got one. It's your turn. Stuff like that. Terry, you saw these guys last year down there, and they put up 42 points on you. How much did that experience help you guys prepare for today? Well, I feel like as a freshman in the game last year, I wasn't able to do anything at all. I was, I was messing up in the past game. I didn't know my responsibilities in the run. You know, I was just just another man out there. I feel like the seniors really helped me come together this year, and, and, and now I'm, I'm able to do as much as they can. And so, you know, we can we can be excited about this win, but, you know, we have practice coming, you know, this week that we need to dial in for, you know, a rivalry game, a trophy game. I um, mean, we know Air Force is going to be coming after us, so uh, we need to start focusing in now to get those guys and, you know, keep where we want to go, you know, because the, the goal is still there. We can still achieve it, so uh, we just need to keep focused and, and stay together. Um, you know, I wanted I wanted to keep playing. I think any any competitor wants to play the whole game, obviously. Uh, so I you know I wanted to keep playing, but I wasn't upset. Um, you know, the experience that Nick is getting that's huge for him coming in the future. So um, I look back at my freshman year and the experience I got that helped me out. So um, any experience that he can get that's going to help him out in the long run. Are you hanging seventy on anybody else in the polls? Um, you know, it's 70, 58, you know, I don't know if there's that big of a difference, I guess. Obviously, anything is going to help, but, you know, we'll take 58 points any day. So. Hey, Garrett, uh, kind of like a fun way, football players come in all different shapes and sizes. How would you describe D. Hart? Does he play bigger than his size? Absolutely. I think you guys have all seen that, his physicality. Um, for a guy, you know, that's around 200 pounds, the way he runs people over and makes people miss, um, that kind of, you know, keeps people guessing, I guess, because they don't know if he's going to try and juke them or just run them over. And that's something I think that's why he is the explosive back that he is. So. Jim has said all year that you could beat D in a foot race. That I could beat? No, that, that Jim could beat oh, D in a foot race. Oh, yeah. you put your money on that? Yeah, I'm putting it on D, no okay. doubt in my mind. How long did you get vision of what Capri was doing to these guys last year as they are handing off to D and watching him take off touchdown after touchdown? No, no, I don't, you know, Capri never really came to mind. I guess obviously he was a great back. He did some great things for us. Obviously we're very thankful for what he did for us. But, um, you know, I think they're kind of two different runners, I think. Um, and so I think, you know, what D has done for us, he's kind of in his own in his own world with all of that. So we're obviously, like I said, very thankful to have him and, you know, wouldn't trade him for anything. So. Thank you.
just being in sync with Garrett, catching touchdown passes, D. Hart going for long runs. Feel good to be back with the team. Even though I was out last game, I was still with the team. Just, just being around those guys, telling them. I mean, they they knew I was gonna be out, but just being around those guys, letting my presence be felt. Um, it feels good. Um, I mean, we game plan all the time about how how we can beat New Mexico, what what we need to do to beat New Mexico. So I mean, it, it it's not really shocking to be ten and one because I mean we said we want to be the best. So I mean, we still lost the game. So I mean, it is what it is. But it, it feels good to be ten and one. How hard is it to be ten and one and not control your own destiny? Um, I mean, we really can't do too much about that. All we can do is just, just, just win every game that we have left. You know what I mean, and hopefully the the table turn our way. You feel like the team made a little bit of a statement today, though. Um, to anybody that was paying attention, like their college football playoff committee, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I have to say, great game to D Hart, though. Um, dude scored five times, man. <laughs> Six, six times, man. I didn't even know that, D. Um, yeah, just outstanding players that's on our team. Great ability. Um, we knew D had it this whole time. Unfortunately, he showed it today against New Mexico. Did you ever tell D to slow down on the touchdown so you can maybe get some? Yeah, I told him to get up out the game, man. <laughs> I, I, need, I, I need some of them touchdowns. <laughs> I need some of them touchdowns. Um, I didn't know that till now. So um, that's 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 a good achievement for me. Um, I mean, I just want to be the best. You know what I mean, to be the best, you gotta you gotta strive to be the best. You gotta work to be the best, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Do you pay attention to other receivers like Amari Cooper in Alabama and what they're doing, or are you just trying to focus on yourself? No, nah, I'm I'm just thinking about myself and this team. What I can do with the team to make the team better. Anything else? D, how long has it been since you felt that good in the game? Uh, I say I have to go back to high school, yeah, since I felt that good, especially with a group of guys that, you know, I believe they'll lay it down for me. So, yeah, I say about high school. Yes, sir. Are you pretty, are you pretty tired? Yeah, are you nah. Pretty tired? No? no, sir. Have some more carries in you? Yeah. How nice was it to finally go all the way on some of those, not get caught, you know, gives you a bad time about it, and nobody was catching you on those today. Yeah, uh, you know, we had a good week of practice last week, and, you know, especially having that body, you know, you kind of get your legs back, you know, conditioning level pretty good. I kind of got in the pool, I got in the pool like two or three times this week, just to just to get my uh, my cardio back going, and, you know, I, I sustained today. Yes, sir. What does it mean to put it in the end zone six times? Uh, to be honest, to me it mean nothing, but I was just trying to lay down all for my scenes out there, you know. These guys took me in, and a lot of people don't know how much that means to a person. But for you to just, you know, grow up in a different kind of background and come to a place that's not familiar to you, and then these scenes that, you know, they welcome you with open arms, that kind of touch your heart, and, you know, you want to go out on the field and, do everything just to end them on the right note, you know what I mean? When was the last time you put it in six times in a game? Uh, never. <laughs> yeah. What about on Madden or video games? Uh, six yeah, I ain't too king on video games. I like to feel, yeah. You and Mac have had to play all year about him saying, getting on you when you get caught from behind. Yeah. You know, how'd that conversation go today? Uh, you know, he still think he can beat me, but, you know, I'm going to give him a couple, couple weeks. Hopefully he get his cardio back going because I think I could beat him. I think I'd get him. Last time you were here, D, you talked about how you were kind of deferring to your teammates and you're just happy that they can score and you all make all the big plays. But today was your day. Can you actually, now that it's over, just appreciate that? Yes, sir. I appreciate it. But, you know, I just want to do it for the team, you know, and I think that's what everybody on the team do, you know, just Garrett or Rashad. I think anytime your number being called, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what, you know, everybody looking for to you to do, you know, to make the big play, make the touchdown, you know.
watch a lot of film of last year's game where Capri got his six touchdowns? Uh, yes, sir. We did a lot of good game planning this week. We knew, you know, that was kind of a field boundary team. So, you know, they weren't going too much adjust to a lot, a lot of motions. And we're a good motion team, you know, re-miking and stuff like that. So I knew that New Mexico is a pretty good team, but I know just coming downfield, they kind of miss gaps and stuff like that. So we just tried to take advantage of that. Were there any you saw that Capri did that you were able to capitalize on when you watched him last year? Or something yes, sir. Uh, Capri, Capri was a very physical runner. And I think he established that early early on in the game. And as the game went on, it was more easy. Like, you know, the South Storm or the North Gut, you know, it was easy inside zone, outside zone. It was easier for him. I think I asked you the same question, adapting it from week to week. But when you came here, come on, you weren't thinking, oh, we're going to be, CSU's going to be 10 more. No, sir. No, sir. Not, not. I mean, how has this worked out for you now? It's working out great, you know. Uh, Hopefully it end how we all wanted to uh, end, but at the same time, you know, it's all glory under the God because, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. We did lose against uh, Boise State, but at the same time, I think it made us better. You know, we kind of gelled together, you know, depending on guys more. So it was kind of bad that we did lose, but at the, at the same time, at the end of the day, I think we played better. You're the only guy here who's played both the SEC and the uh, Mountain West. Your perspective on whether this team deserves to be in the college football playoff 25 and be, be considered a credible member of a credible challenger? Excuse me? <laughs> this is Colorado State round, sir. And, you know, I, I expect us to be top 10. That's how I feel. And, you know, a lot of people say that's cocky, but we're confident. I think we got better players than everybody else do. And, you know, we, we proved that today. Ask New Mexico. Could you guys play with an SEC team? We could play with anybody. Anybody. Is, uh, I was looking at your bio. Is, is DEE your middle name or is that your nickname? That's my nickname. So what's your middle? Demetrius Hart, what's your middle name? Mm -hmm. Demar. How do you spell that? D E M A R. All right. Yeah. All, like all lowercase? All lowercase. Like, you know, right. Yeah, it's cool. If you, if you, like you said, he's been from behind a couple of times. Yes, before. sir. When you break that first long one, yeah. Does that ever enter your mind? Not this time? Yeah. <laughs> the whole run. <laughs> Did you find another gear that you found in that bi-week meeting with those fresh legs? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that, that's why I uh, credit it to just, you know, having those fresh legs and my cardio was where I wanted it to be. And, you know, after I had broken to the open field, I just felt like he's just going to have to catch me this time. <laughs> I'm not going to stop and look at him. So, yeah. Do you feel like you and Coach have – Alabama people, where are you hearing from them? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Roll Tide Nation, they still follow us. And, you know, uh, CSU Rams, we've been getting a lot of support from them, too. And it's just great. It's just, just like from different sides of the world, you know, well, United States that, you know, they, they can root for one team. It's kind of crazy. It's, maybe it just means something to me, you know. Uh, it's about the same, but – I'm just more in the back end, you know, I'm a little deeper, uh, different keys, different reads. Just how, how happy are you guys as a secondary that you handled the challenge today of being able to come up, make some big plays and run support mm -hmm. and really not get burned on the pass a whole lot? Well, they're, like you said, they're a triple option team. Uh, they really didn't have a lot of deep passes, but I would say we're very, very satisfied, you know. I mean, we did, we performed today. We performed well. Right. I can't, I can't speak about last year. Yeah. <laughs> you do have a short week this week preparing for another option attack. Does the way you played today give you a little bit of confidence going into that game knowing that it is a short week? Well, yeah, it does. Uh, New Mexico, you know, they're a good team. So the performance that we did, you know, that was very, it was very good for us. So uh, it does give me confidence going into the Air Force. Do you feel like one of the, I think your longest drive was seven plays. Normally, an option team can generally grind out those 10, 12. Mm -hmm. Is that the one thing you felt like you did the best was kind of take away those sustained drives? Right, yes, we did. Um, like Coach said, he said, just don't limit the explosive plays. And I feel we did that this week. Preston, what's it feel like to be 10 or more? Feels great. It <laughs> feels great. How long have you been since you returned punts? Uh, since my last season. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely emotional. 
Uh, I was talking to some of the guys, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to cry. But I, I was holding them back when I saw my mom out there. And uh, yeah, it was, it was good to have all the people that helped me get here there. So it How was, nice it was, good. was it to get the start you guys got to this game? Because obviously senior day teams can sometimes start slow mm -hmm. because of all that emotion. Mm -hmm. You guys right away, they fumble the opening kickoff and go and go in and score. Just how valuable was that in the way the rest of the game went? It was definitely good. Uh, gave us momentum going in, starting the game off fast, as Coach Mack always says. And uh, yeah, I think our, our special teams units really, really stepped up today. Um, obviously, forcing a couple fumbles and recovering them, and uh, we want, we, ho we were hoping uh, to get that return from uh, Deontay, but it got called back. But uh, we think the special teams played really well today. How surprised were you with the way you guys played defense and limited, I guess, their exposure in the auction? It, it was a uh, we're glad, you know. Uh, obviously, they get explosive plays on on basically every team they played. And uh, yeah, it's it's hard, but um, everyone just has to get their assignments, and that just comes with a lot of watching film and getting in there together as a defense. Does that give you confidence going into the next week, knowing it is a short week of preparation? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, just because it's kind of a similar offense, um, but we just got to prepare like we did. We have a short week this week, uh, so Coach Max said today's basically was our day off. <laughs> so tomorrow's <laughs> tomorrow's Monday in the week, so uh, we're we're excited to get started. Is it weird not to know if this is your last home game as, as a CSU fan? Yeah, it's, it's just a little weird, but it's definitely good. It's, it's for a good reason uh, that we might have a chance to come back and play here. Is that why you guys had to take care of business early because it was your day off? So the starters <laughs> could at least get the fourth quarter to rest? Yeah, I guess. I guess sure. <laughs> is it hard to be a CSU Graham and admit that you will be a Wyoming Cowboy fan? Yes. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not a Wyoming Cowboy fan, but uh, we're definitely uh, pulling for them tonight. It seems like uh, each week a new record is falling. Now you guys are 10-1, and you have mm -hmm. an opportunity to prove on that next week. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you guys in the locker room, the success that you guys mm -hmm. have had and that continue to move over week by week? Mm -hmm. it, mean, it means everything to us. You know, uh, Coach Matt came in here, and uh, he preached He preached to us his play for each other, you know, change the whole culture. And uh, it's finally coming together, and it's good to see that, especially the guys that have been here for a while, uh, just seeing that change. And, uh, yeah, it's, it feels good, and uh, we can't, can't wait to keep rolling. It's frustrating that early season loss where boys are going to look mm -hmm. back on things now. Would you guys be 10-1 if you haven't lost that game? A couple of players have kind of suggested that that was actually good for this team and kind of help people focus the rest of the year. I mean, uh, we try not to look back too much, but uh, I mean, I feel like we always want to win every game, you know. But uh, it, it taught us a lesson, taught a lot of guys lessons, and uh, we just got to keep moving on from that.